Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Greetings. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be talking about a TV show called No Ordinary Family. This is one of those shows that might have been ahead of its time. It was a bid to get a superhero real life family on TV, and I think they did it incredibly well. Uh, I think it started in 2010. It didn't last that long, and it might have had to do with uh, you know, certain things behind the scenes and possibly, uh, you know, maybe a concern of ratings and such. But I really love this show. It's got Michael Chiklis, who had, well, was the thing, and of course he's from other shows, The Shield and The Commish, another show I love. Um, Julie Benz. I believe was on Buffy. Uh, she's in the pilot, as a matter of fact. Dollars in that, and had a great arc on Angel, and lots of other actors. I don't know, but everything worked well, and it was basically the story of a family that gets superpowers. And I think it was executed really well. The chemistry was great. The actors they got all worked. I really don't know why. In a way, this was canceled because I can't put myself. Well, it's not coming to me if it was like, um, you know, a, a, the year it was a strike, and a lot of shows tanked. Um, I, I mentioned it once in a while as uh, the Bionic Woman, which I thought was great, and then just, uh, you know, it disappeared, as did several shows in that, um, you know, in that era. But the show, it has what, uh, you know, 20 episodes only it's another one season type thing i think there's a a real uh tragedy here and a crime in a sense you know that this show uh, didn't get the backing it needs if that's the case i think there's a you go back and watch the show i think everybody would like it and especially now now the movies are um, such a staple of uh, our culture. They do a superhero movie well. Uh, let's pick Marvel because they consistently are way better at it. But even DC with Wonder Woman, I uh, like Shazam. It at, at the time of Heroes and the show Lost, um, you had The Incredibles. This show was a great balance. I really liked it from, uh, um, you know, a uh, a point of a family gets powers and they have to it's their origin it's them learning that they even have powers and what they go through and the, the things behind the scenes i thought it was doing great when i look back at it or think uh, on it i'm really surprised that it's um that it's even that it didn't last it's like the good guys uh one of my favorite cop buddy shows one season uh i don't i don't know um you know i look on wikipedia and such and you know it receives mostly positive reviews but is it just a downfall of shows that you know like well you know you try to say oh i'm a comic book fan so i love the show but you know looking back critically it was it was a bad it was i don't know i don't see that in this and maybe i could be convinced otherwise um these the actors and actresses worked well He's great as the father and um, the mother. It just worked. Um, you know, she's a doctor, and I don't want to give away everything, but these shows are just, you know, not like uh, this is a major spoiler thing. But he gets, um, she's a doctor who uh, gets super speed. Uh, Michael Chiklis is the, gets uh, super strength and durability. Um, leaping, that type thing. The uh, daughter gets uh, telepathy. The son gets um. Ah, oh, he's got like a an equation power, or like a, his intelligence is boosted. He has speed read and all that stuff. I think even the side characters, when you watch the show and you see how everything's developing, 
I think it starts to come together. I think it's great from the beginning, but if you want to be critical and not the fanboy, no, no ordinary family was doing great in my opinion. And I don't know, it just uh, disappeared. I, just a travesty in a sense. Uh, I could see this show running even now. Uh, Heroes, same thing. Well, Heroes got the four seasons. But in the second season, they had to strike. They had a... I think they condensed the second season, changed the storyline, which I enjoyed. But a third and fourth season, showrunners, the writing, you know, goes downhill. Um, I just don't remember that as being like that. And even my going back and revisiting the show... I see a lost potential, uh, something that could have, you know, really been saying a lot about the subject matter. And, you know, it's not a dark show, but it shows this family getting powers and trying to figure things out and the troubles it causes. And uh, I don't know. um, uh, It's a shame in in a way. I recommend the show highly. Uh, It's such a... I equate it to like the good guys. There's certain shows I just get a joy from. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, who, what character's going to die this week and pulse pounding. Um, you know, it, it, you do the special effects right. You get the concepts down. You get the family element. And the show was working. I don't know. Uh. I wonder if, if, well, you look at the actors and actresses, and I think they're great. And maybe the kids, like, if you look back, you see them here and there now and then. So there's no Michael J. Fox at the show. But I don't think you needed it. I could see maybe that would be trying to be critical and say, okay, well, you had the main lead, uh, Michael Chiklis and Julie Benz, which are outstanding. And did it falter with them trying to uh, you know, have kids into it? I think it worked. I think it worked well. But it's the only way I could, um, you know, I could see there being a, well, I could see it being also, all right, maybe we're still trying to hold over the days of a little bit of campiness. But even that, I can't, I don't see it. I don't see the kind of goofy Batman from 1960 something, which I love, by the way. Bam, zoom, and all that pow. But it wasn't the a dark brooding, uh, very um, uh, you know, hard hitting show. In that sense, it was a fun show. I got a kick out of it. I still enjoy going back to it. I guess uh, it's referred to as a comedy drama. Uh, it's just a shame. Uh, I think this show could have been long running uh and maybe it would have held back their careers i mean michael chiklis and uh, julie bez i've seen them and stuff and you know michael chiklis is just great in like almost everything he does and especially i liked him as the thing i like those fantastic four movies i'll probably do a podcast on them eventually although there's a lot of flaws that i agree with the second one which i might be a guilty pleasure but the first one I truly enjoy. And this show is not like a guilty pleasure either. Um, I think it's a quality show that just it just didn't hit the it didn't get the luck of the draw. It didn't pull through in the end. But you could just imagine uh, mother and father with two kids and they get superpowers. And there's a plot theme that runs through on revealing what happened what was the catalyst for this what who's behind who or what's behind it in a way um there's a great scene where you know they don't know what their capabilities are of, and the father gets shot in the head with a gun and it's like i think he gets knocked out but there's no wound and like you realize oh shit he's like invulnerable but he can take it the impact will knock him out and things like that, like learning how to leap and the distances. It was that element of the origin comic of family. I guess it's akin to the Fantastic Four from the comics if you're a, you know, the first family type uh, moniker. I think the show could have been that for TV. It could have really, uh, really 
gone a long way. I think it had a great potential uh, that some shows that even now that are out in more than one season don't have. I just, you know, I guess we all have that. We look back at the show. I mentioned the good guys over and over. Fucking hilarious. Great cop buddy show. One season. Here we go. No Ordinary Family. 20 episodes of one season. So, I don't know. And I, there's a part of me that wishes and I had four seasons to go through. And uh, even shows I know that ended, like Battlestar Galactica, love it. Four seasons, bang. They, had to, they wanted to fi- finish it. It's a shame when you see your shows. And I mentioned Sense8, another show that got brought back from fan uh, outrage, I guess. And someone decided to bring it back for like a two two hour sort of ending. It didn't happen with this. I think at the time it came out, it just got overshadowed and you know, like I said, Mr. Luck of the Draw. But there's so much good in this show. You go back and watch it, the side characters, the chemistry, the family turmoil. I think it works at a on a decent level. And if I want to be critical, maybe the the children aspect you know, uh, didn't sit well, but I would mostly guess it's a shitty, um, you know, shitty time. It was, it was out and the fucking everybody at certain times wanted ratings and I don't know. Anyway, no ordinary families. Definitely something I recommend. You got what? 20 episodes. Maybe you'll see the potential I see in it. Uh, and maybe you'll find things that, the more criticisms that I would have. Yes, it could be just my fanboy comic book geek bias. But I really think it's an excellent show that just, you know, didn't make it. All right, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.